your own zoning bylaw. I think it is not contested that this use is allowed in the zone. Your um, council has left no gray area that I can see. It, he has very specifically said you may deal with fencing, buffer zones, light shielding, all of those types of things, and but that the use is allowed. Um, so I urge you to consider that as you as you think about your vote and what this means to the town of Hadley. But other than that, we do meet each of the dimensional requirements that's, requ that's required under your zoning bylaw. So we've met all of those those requirements. We came in with a larger project. You were concerned about the size, and the applicant was willing to reduce the size by about 47%. To me, that's a huge concession. They have tried extremely hard to meet your concerns. I have to say that I don't think I've ever had a client who was as amenable to change and as amenable to meeting the wishes of the town and of the board. I mean, when you ask about, well, what's a gate going to look like? They didn't hand draw. They went to Berkshire Design and said, design us one. What's a guardrail going to look like? Design us one, right down to how deep in the ground it was. We want balloons. We put up balloons. Yeah. Granted, it was uh, sort of on again, off again, but I would argue that you didn't see the balloons because they were shielded um, by the vegetation. But needless to say, they have done everything that this board has asked them to do. They have made it as small as they feel that they reasonably can. They have said, we'll screen it however you want. We'll make it whatever color you want. We go to the, Neil has been to the neighbors somewhere eight, 10 or 12 times to meet, discuss it. What color would you like? How would you like to do this? It, the, the client has been extremely reasonable. The, the impact of this project uh, on the town is going to be negligible. We are not going to be using police services. I mean, I can't say never, but certainly we're not using police services to the extent that other uses do. We are not using fire services. It's completely sprinkled. We are not using the school services. Basically, we are going to buy water and sewer from the town, and that's the services that we're going to require. So the, the, the impact on this town is very small. Mm -hmm. in, in, for municipal services. I think the impact is quite big that we are going to preserve 35 acres of land. Now you can say, oh, there's habitat there and there's wetlands there. Yes, there are. But I can guarantee you sometime, some way, someone can get at least five houses in there. Whether it's going to happen in my lifetime, I don't know. But what I do know is once it's put under conservation restriction, the <coughs> Preservation is in perpetuity. Unless both houses of, both branches of the legislature vote by two thirds to release that lien, it will never be released. Five Colleges is going to spend a significant amount of money in managing that habitat and in and managing the conservation area. The conservation management does not come free. They will pay to endow a conservation agency to manage that. So. All of that, the management and the view is part of what the town of Hadley gets from this applicant. So I, I think that we all have to admit that the applicant has been reasonable. They have adjusted the project. They have done absolutely everything that you have asked for except to go away. And I think it's an unreasonable request for you to ask them to go away. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts has given them the right to be here. Your legislators have done that. And your zoning bylaw gives them the right to be here. So I would ask that you consider that carefully. If I understand that some of you may not think that the, zoning, that the Dover Amendment is a good thing, there is a way to change that in this country. And it's to go to the legislature and to convince enough legislators to change it. That's how these things get done in this country. We don't do it by saying, that's a law that I don't feel like following. I think we have both the bylaw and the statute that gives us the right to be there. And we have done what we can to make this acceptable to the town of Hadley. I, I see no reason whatsoever that this issue needs to end up in another forum wasting money 
because we're going to dig our heels in. I think the applicant has loosened up and has has really negotiated with the board and has provided with the board with everything that they've asked for. Um, so I would hope that you'll carefully consider it, consider it in the context of the law, the statute, and the town of Haddon. And there is not, at this point, there is not an argument in my mind that you can't have that use here. I think it is very, very clear, and I hope that you can see your way to vote to approve this project. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, just, just to comment, the um, the one flaw in your eloquent what? presentation <laughs> was that uh, Joe Bard's knowledge of this project came from me. He has not been here at these meetings, and perhaps you know, I did not convey clearly enough the nature of the project. But I have to say that you haven't satisfied me. I've been at all the meetings, all four of them. Four of them? Or we had five. And I just am not satisfied that this is an educational purpose. This is a warehouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so you are correct. The Dover Amendment places very limited conditions under which we can deal with an allowed, otherwise allowed use. But you have to get over that threshold of establishing an educational purpose. This is a warehouse. And on that basis, and, and I do want to state my appreciation. I completely agree the applicant has been very, uh, tried very hard to comply as best it can within its parameters with the neighborhood wishes. Um, but, um, it's a warehouse. So in on that reality, basis, I am going to move to reject the application on the basis that the applicant has not demonstrated uh, that this is an educational purpose. Can I make motion. one comment? That's the motion. That, that, that's the single mo that's a single prime motion just to reject this on that? Re reject it on the basis that they have not qualified for the Dover Amendment and they would not otherwise be allowed to build. Go second that. Okay. Is not every library a warehouse of books? We have a motion and a second. Um, just to be clear, we'll go for a roll call vote. Um, just Let for me writing this up. Okay. So more, more clearly, uh, I'm a uh, motion to reject on the basis that the applicant has not demonstrated that a warehouse has an educational purpose. And John seconded it? Yes. Yeah. That's the motion, there's a second. Okay. Any other discussion? Mr. Sarzynski? I'm in favor of the motion. Mr. Michalski? No. Are you in favor? Are you in favor of the motion? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. 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 An I means you're in favor of the motion. A name means you're against it. No. Okay, I'm going to fix that. Right. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Zagrani. Uh, I think after reading the town council's report, there have been numerous examples of a real stretch of the Dover Amendment, whether we call it a warehouse, uh, I'll give you the example of Weston. They built a senior housing center. They want to build a senior housing center, Regis, Regis College does. And the Supreme Judicial Court gave that leeway. The, uh, the let's see, Northfield Mount Herman Farm uh, is considered educational. Holyoke Housing Authority is considered educational. And you can go on and on, they really, stretch this Dover Amendment to the maximum. And, and I think whether we call it a warehouse, 
but it is a library because there are books going to be there. I think we've satisfied everything that's come before us. I know we can talk about the fact that it's not at the right location, and that bothers me as well. UMass, Amherst College, Hampshire College has ample, ample uh, acreage to build something like this. The other part is uh, taxes. Uh, you certainly wish they would have to contribute to the taxes of the town in as much as they're taking up so much of our, our space now. But I think the argument there is going to be the, in the pilot program that Northampton is proposing, that Worcester is proposing, that is payment in lieu of taxes. So I'm, what has come before us is the fact that we can regulate, but we cannot prohibit. So the regulations They've followed everything according to our site plan, whether it's setback, whether it's height, whether it's maximum size of buildings and uh, drainage and conservation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They have fulfilled all our site plan requirements. So I, in good conscience, feel that I could not vote for Bill's designation that it is not qualified under the Dover Amendment. Did you vote or no? I vote no. Okay. This is a special public, special, special hearing, which or special permit rather, which requires a supermajority or four of the five members. I agree with Mr. Zagrodnik. However, in light of where we stand on a supermajority. If we vote, if I vote no, it's, his motion will fail. The chances of getting a favorable, and then it puts the whole project in limbo. Then, then you have to go to the courts to do anything. Mm -hmm. If I vote in favor of the motion, I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, it gives you something to go to court with. <laughs> I'm not in favor of. Mr. Dwyer's motion, but for the sake of giving a legal, and I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not, I'm probably using the wrong words, to give you something to go forward with, I will vote in favor of the motion only for that reason. I don't think you even have to go there if you don't want to. I think that if it doesn't get four affirmative votes, it fails. The, the, their application fails if it doesn't get four affirmative votes. I don't think that a denial of the application requires four votes. So if you'd rather just vote the way you wish. The way the you way wish. wish. Okay, then I, that for that matter, I vote no with Mr. Zagrodnik. I agree with Mr. Zagrodnik. Okay. Motion it, fails for lack of a supermajority. No, the motion, no, the motion to deny passes. Their application fails for lack of a majority. You haven't voted yet, Mr. Dwyer. I vote, uh, I vote in aye. So the motion to reject it has three Fav votes. Three favorable votes. votes. So that passes. The motion to, the motion so to reject is, passes. So, okay, so that doesn't need a super majority? It does not. Okay. All right. So the motion. All right, if the motion passes to deny the special permit to reject on the basis that the applicant has not demonstrated that this warehouse has an educational purpose. Okay. Is there a reason to vote on the other two applications so that if a court were to disagree with you, the erosion control plan and the use of the aquifer would be approved. My question to you, Peter, is that there's a 90% chance that you will prevail. I mean, from my limiting reading of the I law don't. and the examples that Joel Bard gave us, whether it's Weston, Worcester, or Tufts, they all were a stretch of a parking garage. But nevertheless, uh, will you still comply with all the compromises that you've come up with or will you build whatever you want to build? Um, I don't I don't know. We we haven't had that discussion, but I think it certainly opens the door for us to build potentially 
whatever you want. Hundred thirty-eight thousand square foot uh, building. Um, I don't. I mean, I, I guess I don't want to say, yeah, we're going to go out and do whatever we want because that, that's never been the client's attitude, and uh, I don't think it will be. But I think what the board has passed up is the opportunity to put a lot of conditions on, which they were willing to accept, to control it, and to really receive, I think, a good product. So at this point, I don't want to represent to you that, yes, we really know we won't, because we really haven't had that discussion. I mean, we've been trying to get this, this done. But yeah, I, I think, as Mr. Dwyer knows, and maybe the rest of you do, I'm no litigator, so um, I don't really know. But I think that the court has the right to approve our application for 138,000 square foot building. That's that's what I'm afraid of. We've and been that saying, was not brought out in my What my we've been comments. saying to you is we will if you were to find this way, we'll agree with it. But the application is for hundred and thirty eight thousand square foot building. No, your application has amended. I haven't amended any application. I mean, I don't want to have the legal discussion because, as you know, the lawyers can differ on anything. We can differ as to whether it's dark. Okay, we, we, excuse me. We had a vote. Is it yes proper to discuss legal strategy here? Well, no, I, no it, it's is it? proper That's to my question. Question. We're, no, we're, but it's proper to understand what we voted for. I, mean, I think it's inappropriate that we're saying that the guy's no, going to no, win. I, no, I, I think he's going to lose. There are two other things on the on the table. Uh, there were two other. Um, applications. Um, Business use and aquifer and erosion control. And they're really um, there's really no harm in voting them. Um, I was just tidy it up, get them all on the table. I think part of it is you probably have an obligation within some time frame to do that. Yes, we do. So rather than us get them by default, you might as well vote them. I'll remind you that if it makes a difference is that when we were discussing this two meetings ago, um, I asked the question, do we have agreement on the erosion control and the aquifer because I don't want to waste your time talking about it. And I think the response was, yeah, those aren't an issue. So this will be just the aquifer special permit. No. And then erosion control. Is that put us in a funky situation where we approve these two and board it down the main one? It's not like they can do anything with these. But my question is, does it contradict your motion? You approved the aquifer use of these, and you approved we approved the business, the, the, the erosion control of these, but we said that you don't comply mm -hmm. with the bylaw for the for the use. But I think for the use, what you are saying is that our use would not impact, that particular use would not impact the aquifer in a negative way. I don't think you're saying necessarily that it's an appropriate use for the site. I think you're saying it would not affect the aquifer. Okay, I, 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 I think, agree with that. I, think. I, I mean, I know that's what it said, but I'm just wondering if... I didn't make the motion for the first one, so... I understand. I cannot vote for it. What you're talking about for you all do that from against the whole project. <clears throat> Make the motion, see what happens. Make a motion to reject the 
erosion and sediment control and aquifer protection, business use in the aquifer protection district uh, applications as moved. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. All in favor of the motion to reject say aye. 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 All aye. opposed? No. No. Motion passes. Motion to reject passes. Motion to reject passes, three to two. Okay, so for housekeeping, that is addressed. <laughs>